G'day scrappers. <laughs> Today we've got a vintage electrocardiogram. Um, yeah, quite a big heavy uh, thing. I have no idea what could be inside it. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot. Uh, but I think it's one of those ones where they connect it up to you and you do exercise and um, it checks your uh, breathing, your heart rate, the whole lot. So it does look like an old one. Minhart. It's, I think it's a Dutch brand. So we'll get into it. Yeah, I, I have no idea what could be in it. If anything at all. But it's uh, just uh, another interesting, unusual vintage scrap item and don't often you know we don't get a lot of medical equipment and so when it comes in it's always uh you know interesting they just have a look inside and you know see how they make things uh, okay so i'm assuming that we can start from the top and work our way through. It looks like there's sort of like two kind of units um, stuck to each other. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. <laughs> Gonna. That's uh, really strange stuff here. <laughs> I uh, have no idea what these things could could be. It looks like it might be kind of like a power thing. Um, yeah, there's a couple of boards down there. There's one that's got uh, some really nice EEPROMs again. So, um, yeah, a little bit of good goal recovery. There's a couple of boards on the side here. Bit of aluminium. Looks like, no, they're just normal capacitors, they're not tantalum. Um, yeah, wow. So i just got to work out really how to sort of uh, get myself into here. Oh, yeah, I think I'll just undo these bars and uh, yeah, all right. Might be a little bit hard to get it on video because it's so tall. Um, it's almost three foot tall. So this part here, it's the CO2 analyzer. And this part here is the O2 analyzer. So a couple of different... Uh, obviously for your breathing and stuff like that and so i'd imagine maybe down the bottom is where the heart part is or maybe this is just a um just for your breathing wow that's really bizarre right so i just had to get a bit of a wide screen um Just to give you a bit of a look, because uh, yeah, it's hard to get the camera so high up. But get these things out okay well we've got some extruded alley
We've got wire and tubes, all kinds of things. Oh well, at least we've got a nice, really nice pins on this plug. Keep that. Look at that, nice gold. That's that side out. Just get rid of this. I'm taking this. Yeah, not, not bad little gold pins in there. Looks like I've kind of got to get this whole thing out of the outer shell. Because, oh yeah, these look like just individual modules. So yeah, there's the O2 analyzer, and that's a CO2 analyzer. So... They obviously do two different things. Now. One more screw. So that's, well, some sort of instrument, uh, I might see if I can get it out and we'll see if we can open it up and see what's inside it, and this one, okay, and it's quite an unusual board here. Uh, they kind of look like MLCCs, but they're very unusual. We'll have a look at that. All right, well, that's got us into, uh, made it a lot easier. Anyway, now we can get these few boards out. Just, uh, there's one that looks really nice. Uh, it's all removable IC chips. And normally I don't take out these sort of like tactile switch boards or LCD boards, but I just wanted to have a look. And I think once I've emptied out these boards, yeah, I might be able to turn it upside down and um, so I'll try and leave this frame on for now and get to the uh, bottom part because uh, looks like there's more stuff in there. Yeah. As I said, I don't normally go for these LCD type boards, but it's a really unusual one. Uh, it's almost uh, 
you can almost use it as a steampunk sort of control button. You've got a really, uh, really nice uh, kind of like LEDs, and it does look like there's a yeah. It's hard to tell uh, whether there's uh, any gold in there. It might just be the reflection of the the plastic roof, but still got it. Yeah, because all these wires, um, they lead down and into the bottom part, so it would be interesting to see what's in there. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to have to undo uh, a little bit more. Another LED board. Got it. Okay, I thought I was going to have to undo a lot of the front, but managed to pop it out. All right. Well. Wow. So, okay, so we've got two boards, yep, not bad gold pins here. Um, so these kind of, yeah, that they remind me of MLCCs, these uh, little things. Um, and yeah, it definitely, I think these could um, kind of go into MLCCs because the end caps are they're slightly um, tarnished and yeah I'm pretty sure these end caps will be silver and quite good silver actually uh, just see if I can sort of crack into one because I can see layering in the middle It's just really hard to tell what they are. There's no coating on the board. Okay. All right. And I can see these. It's just layering of foils. It's kind of like, you know, some kind of capacitor. Might be just a foil aluminium. But it does look like silver. So I think these might be all silver recovery. Uh, even the thin, narrow ones. So, it definitely is silver caps on the end. And then you just got a whole heap of plates inside. So, it could be like just a, a regular capacitor, you know, with aluminium foil. But it just... I've uh, just got a feeling that it's more than aluminium. So I might take these off and actually keep these um, for further testing. And I don't know what these blue boxes are or uh, these kind of capacitors. These might actually be another form of MLCC. Yeah. They really crumble up. So really hard to uh, tell. Um, okay, so that's just your little dip switches. So I'm assuming there'll be gold plates in there. Um, yeah, quite interesting. So all these IC chips are actually removable. So I'll probably take all these IC chips and Actually, I'll, I'll probably just depopulate the whole thing, even take the pins. Okay. Some sort of spring-loaded pin, 
but the pins are actually gold plated so yeah I think I'm just going to depopulate this whole board um, yeah even really nice gold pins there look at them hey they're super uh, yeah that's yeah quite an interesting little board really um, it's only kind of a, a mid-grade board if you were to sell it as a scrap board but there's just too many things on it to um, <coughs> uh, for someone that's into precious metal recovery even got some nice tantalum capacitors the green one see that one there's another green one there so they're your resin dipped tantalum capacitors nice and then this board here well this one's even nicer look at the size of this tantalum capacitor green really nice a ceramic ic um wow quite interesting and yeah they could be that could be a tantalum capacitor it's hard to tell uh in with these kind but it's got the uh, plus symbol on one side so <coughs> I'll, I'll just put it into tantalums but here we've got five eproms and I like my eproms if they're gold hang on I'll just uh, scratch away okay so these eproms here they don't show any gold like in the previous video um, they definitely showed up gold but these ones don't really it's really hard to tell in this one but yeah I can't see prominent gold so I put these in with the silver type um, I might just see if I can crack into this a little bit and see if we've got any gold uh, bonding wires or anything because if you can't see gold then you know I mean they don't use white gold so yeah I'm pretty sure I'm still not 100% whether it's uh, silver or platinum but definitely there's no gold coloring so it might be silver but it also could be something else um, I'd like to get these analyzed you know but anyway so that's it um, still they're all removable I see so that's what I'll just do I'll take off them take off me pins tantalum these green tantalums not bad okay we'll take out this top section of wire we'll clean up later um, just one more board up the top here that I'd like to take okay here yeah virtually broke it out but again uh, these really nice resin dipped tanton capacitors the green one smaller one and some real small ones take them all uh, some of these things again so I'll definitely keep them um, even these transistor kind of things and yeah they definitely look like tanton capacitors can always look up the part number and just be sure um, there you go all right looks like the top part's gonna come off yay so this is mostly aluminium if you can bother be bothered cleaning it up So yeah, as I keep saying, you know, it's this uh, these vintage stuff. Sometimes they can be amazing for gold recovery and things like that. But even if they're not, 
they're still, you know, just different, something different compared to what normally scrap. You just don't see this kind of stuff, so it's interesting to see how they make these things up. All right. He's got to get this hose out. It's, uh... Tape around it. My goodness, it's a, it's a, like a pressure pump, like an oxygen tank. Oh gosh! So I don't think there's going to be a great deal in here. Like we've certainly got majority of the uh, yeah yeah we're not going to really get a lot here there is like transformer or something Yeah, not a lot here. So we've got a, a little fan motor transformer kind of thing copper coil in there other side okay yeah so just got that transformer there. Got two transformers in here. So we can get to them as well. And this is just a low grade board. There's no gold recovery stuff on it really. Um, that looks like a might be a tantalum as well. Uh, these capacitors are really strange. So there you go. So at least we got three little transformers out of this little little thing. And just the wire. One of those bellows kind of thing so this must fill up with air and it's got a it's all torn at the bottom and then we just got this uh, strange little uh, tank but I'm not gonna Bother, and uh, I can see it was uh, tested in 1997 it was the last time so it's been 23 years since it's probably been opened up We've got the street sweeper coming past um, yes yeah, so I'll just leave this 
this tank there, it's no good to me really. Oh, really nice brass fitting. It's a couple of them. So I'll get them nice bits of brass. And yeah, the rest I can't do not much with. Send it off to scrap. So there you go. Let's just do a little a cap off. We'll get rid of this. This is going to go as uh, just a scrap steel. But nice to get rid, rid of it because uh, it's just so big and bulky. So yeah, we've got uh, some okay boards. Uh, nothing spectacular. It would have been nice if these EPROMs were gold, but they're only the silver coloured. But I'll take all um, everything from here. And this one here turned out to be the most interesting because of all the different things, especially these, um, you know, multi-layered. They might be an old version of uh, a um, um, MLCC, I'd imagine. Uh, they've definitely got silver caps on the end. Um, so I'm imagining, you know, I'm assuming that, you know, there might be um, palladium in between the uh, foils and the foils might actually be silver as well so I'll depopulate all these I'll even take these because they've got the uh, really nice long gold pin in there and uh, so that was okay um, this one I still need to get this board out it's got again got these MLCC looking things a lot of these transistors or whatever they are uh, what might be tantalum capacitors um, so yeah, uh, and it looks like it's going to have some nice gold pins as well. And this unit here, well, um, you know, it's a CO analyzer. So uh, yeah, probably won't won't do much with that at all. You can see some nice gold pins down there as well. So yeah, I'll just clean this up, take out some of this aluminium, and. Uh, be done with that and this the o2 analyzer well might uh yeah sort of try and crack into this it's not going to be much it'll probably be a transformer in there i'm i'm assuming it's made in J japan <laughs> uh might have a look at that and a bunch of transformers and wire so yeah you know, not the greatest um, scrap value, uh, but you know, it was something different anyway. All right, well, that's that. Thought I'd just uh, do another interesting scrap video before street scrapping starts. Got another one to come in a few more days' time. That should be really interesting simply because I have no idea what it is. Um, but we'll check that out as well. So I'll just uh, show you uh, some of the PCs that I've been picking up in the last week or so. I'm pretty stocked up at the moment. Okay, so yeah, I've been uh, trying to scrap, you know, a little bit every day, but uh, you know, it just, uh, you know, I'm still on a bit of a go slow. So these are all the PCs that have been just scrapped out recently, as well as routers and a few other junky bits. Uh, so yeah, all of these I picked up in the last week or so. Got PCs here. Got a really interesting uh, solar power um, uh, inverter. Might uh, check that out, scrap that out one day. But yeah, all these PCs have just been picked up. These are servers, six nice big chunky uh, servers to do. Um, more PCs here. Again, PCs, a big server down the bottom. So. Uh, again, PCs, lots of PCs coming in, and uh, got about 16 of these UPSs. These are really super heavy. There's probably at least eight batteries in there, um, maybe more, but they're, yeah, just uh, super heavy. And this was actually the first pickup I did after surgery. So uh, uh, it was from a hospital, and it was uh, crazy 
crazy heavy weight it was probably a little bit too much for me at that time but i had to i had to get them so you know i just did it really slowly and carefully um the hardest work was unloading and bringing them here <laughs> pcs a uh, lot more pcs more ups's and um some smaller ones i, I still want to scrap out this uh, lcd nec I thought it might have been a plasma, but it's not. It's just an LCD uh, regular. Um, more PCs just came in yesterday. Uh, another bunch there. Um, a really nice stack of uh, servers. Really chunky servers. Uh, so they should be pretty good. Uh, in here, there's um, uh, about 20 odd PCs. These are uh, just came in as well. I keep them under cover because these ones are... Uh, mostly i3 i5s so they can be resold so um, I always keep these under cover there's some core 2 duos that I have to deal with um, uh, got a couple of uh, these uh, old Max two blue ones interesting um, a whole heap of these keyboards in boxes they're brand new in box uh, just had a stack here that's all collapsed on me but uh, this is what I, I I kind of don't really like. Like I get these, uh, obviously these ones are Lenovo, brand new inbox keyboards. Um, I keep a few for myself because uh, my keyboards get a bit dirty. Sometimes I spill drink in there. Uh, so I like to replace my keyboard every couple of months. Uh, so I keep a few for that, but they're just not worth selling. Even though these are all in boxes, I could list them and um you know just send them out as they're you know they're already pre-packaged but uh yeah i'll think about it but i just can't be bothered for what they're worth you don't get much for them um and so uh and then yeah more pcs here i got some pcs from a, another recycler that uh um a lot of these have got their already had um most of the things removed they just got motherboard and power supply and wire in there but uh yeah another 30 odd pcs here a few stacks so as you can see a lot of pcs uh have just come in so keeping busy his mess i've just made <laughs> so uh i'll get on to that i've got a lot of routers that i need to process so uh yeah just keeping busy there's a really nice cisco um switch box there really big one that should be awesome um yeah and uh, the garage is not too bad still got a few pcs in here as well uh yeah um and i just had a big sale uh one of my buyers came and uh, uh bought a whole heap of stuff off me so that was good um and yeah so all right guys well that's enough for me for now um i've actually got to look up and see when street scrapping starts it's uh it's happening very short as uh, sorry very shortly so um yeah that should be good finally get out there and do a bit of street scrapping but in the meantime i've got to catch up on some of the stuff here to make room for uh yeah for stuff that comes in street scrap um yeah a lot of these bins were emptied out uh and uh they've been refilled so uh yeah just uh a lot of this stuff that's just came in that came with the pcs uh, i need to uh, process all this again a uh, whole heap of cable again so uh you know i spent a couple of weeks processing all this and it's they're full again i need them empty before i start street scrapping and uh yeah at least get this batch of uh, pcs and servers out the way all right guys well hope that was a bit of fun for you keep scrapping have fun and uh i'll catch you next time soon Oh, also, I just just took all my boards in to my buyer, so uh, power supplies, motherboards, low grade, mid grade, all my tubs are, are pretty much empty, so uh, that's, that's nice as well. I'll uh, spend the next few weeks filling them up again. Alright guys, catch you next time.